facilitated an incredible 33 stem cell transplants this October. That's 33 lives in a month that was full of Chagim. How does Azer Mitzion do it? How did they build the registry from 6,000 registrants in 1998 to close to 1 million today? Quite simply, the very special and incredibly unique relationship Azer Mitzion has with the Israel Defense Forces, the IDF. These IDF heroes don't only protect the state of Israel, they stand at the ready to serve the Jewish people no matter where they are in the world. When the person of, uh, from Azer Mitzion told me that I was a match and could save a life, I froze. After a few seconds, I cried out with joy. Somewhere in the world, there is a kid that suffered so much pain, and I'm the only one in the entire world who can help him. This thought immediately made me felt a lot of better. I want to say a huge thanks to Ezemitzion, angels, that makes the impossible possible every day. I received a phone call from Ezemitzion that I had been found to be a match for a young boy who is sick and in need for a bone marrow transplant. Thoughts run through my mind that I would really get the chance to save a life with my stem cells. After two years, I received a phone call with an update. The transplant was a success. The boy is healthy and doing well. For the future, I pray that Hashem will continue to ensure the success of this incredible enterprise of kindness called Ezra Mitzion. And I started to grow some large lumps on my right upper leg. I went and I had a biopsy, and sure enough, the diagnosis was lymphoma. So my oncologist sat me down and she said, your prognosis is not good. And your only realistic hope of a cure is to find a matching stem cell donor. So they started the search, and finally, one wonderful day, I got the news that Hashem has sent me a malach from Eretz Yisrael by the name of Adi Perry. And how did they find a match for someone in New York from a wonderful person in Tel Aviv? Because she had been registered through Ezer Mitzion. The day after Tisha B'Av, 2017, I received a stem cell transplant. And Baruch Hashem, today, I am still disease free. I tried to stay upbeat during the course of my treatment and my disease. There was one thought that unfortunately always got me down, which was the thought that I could not be there for my family in the future. But Baruch Hashem, this year, Parshas Behar, I was there to celebrate the bar mitzvah of my son Yaakov. I understand that you and your bone marrow donor have communicated by email, but that an entire ocean separates you. Well, Yoni, what would you say if I told you that tonight you will, for the very first time, get to meet Adi? Yoni, please welcome to the stage the Azer Mitzion hero who has given you life, Adi Perry. Thank you. 